And that's how Baba lost. <laughs> <laughs> so Baba had decided that time that he would lose. <laughs> he just did it for luck, you know, it's a chance for sure. And you lost, you lost, you lost. <laughs> Wasn't that a rare thing for Baba to lose? I thought he always won the cars. So you would win against Baba sometimes? Mm -hmm. No, well, it happened that one, one yep. game was that you could lose, lose in the worst way possible. <laughs> <laughs> you say the trumps and run make a single <laughs> land. Yes. Seriously, but you know, also, you know, let it come as it happens. Happens. So this early you sit down, you sit down, and then he would ask, "Who has the ace of this? Or who has the joker?" And he mm -hmm. won the joker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he had to hand it over. So they have to. <laughs> That's why I had the idea he never lost. <laughs> <laughs> So that it jets out of the ground, and uh, then you, you can continue with the work. Right. So, we've had to do a lot of those sort of things. And I made a few things. Mm -hmm. So, I can be very professional, but you know. Okay, you got it done. <laughs> but it sounded like you could use a hammer and screwdrivers and all those things. Well, you know, when I was a kid, you see, my father had this uh, motor garage yes. nearby the house. And my brothers used to, and there was a ladder, you know, the division between the compound. There was a wall. And there was a ladder climbing over the wall, and then a ladder, you know, a ladder steps going down. So, we somehow managed to try and then, you know, even the kids who do it. And we go that side. What I was very interested in was the carpenters mm -hmm. and how they would play the wood and make it smooth and, you know, make beautiful things from it. I was very, I would sit down and wash them and they use their tools and all. Mm -hmm. So later on, when the need was there, I knew how to use it. Wonderful. <laughs> very useful. I, I think one of the blessings in the U.S. is that women do many of the things that men used to do. A lot of us have gotten, well, I'm not great at fixing toilets, but I can, I can hook them back up and stuff. You have to have a certain feel for plumbing, I will say. Well, for me, I mean, you have to be able to put the tube together just so because sometimes if it's too tight, it doesn't work. I've, I've, I've had experience with that under the sink. But it's, it's nice to feel that men's work, work and women's work is getting very blurred. <laughs> a lot of men do a lot of things. No, babysitting. but you realize that you know the men have the strength of I do know that. <laughs> a, lot of the, a lot of the um, equipment now that they have automatic drills, they have, I mean, you can, they have the automatics where you can change a tire by just putting the thing in it and it goes, <laughs> and the lug comes out, and they have things like that. Right. Yeah. So it makes it easier for a woman to do something like that. Well, you would, it would have been very easy for you to live in a place like Paris. Because mm -hmm. when you rent a flat in Paris, all you get is a floor walls. Oh my gosh. It's not like in America where you have a nice kitchen and a mm -hmm. stove and so on. <laughs> so when you go and you have to put everything in, even the light bulbs. Mm 